Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim. I'm Lizzie. And I'm Emily. And we are playing the Lord of the Rings the card game, the Angmar Awakened Campaign Expansion. Uh, we are getting ready to start our fourth attempt at the second scenario, the Weather Hills. Uh, since we've failed three times, we've invoked our three strikes you're out rule. And we are going to try this on easy mode this time. So we've removed all of the encounter cards with the gold circle around the logo, the encounter set logo. And each of our heroes starts with one resource. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> all right, we already have everything set up. So we don't have to go through all that again. Uh, we've drawn our starting hands. So we are ready to begin. Uh, stage 1B. As you pursue the orcs, the weather itself turns against you. Now you must contend with the elements while you hunt the enemy. So the first weather treachery card revealed each round gains surge. And a forced effect after the active location is explored. Reveal the top card of the orc deck and resolve its staging as if it were just revealed from the encounter deck. Reveal the top two cards instead if there are three or more players in the game, which there are. So that's the conditions for the first stage. Uh, we start with Exposed Ridge as the active location. And which, if we don't explore it uh, in the first round... Uh, we will each have to deal a damage to a character we control at the end of the round. Uh, we also have the Hunting the Orcs objective in the staging area. We need to get, uh, what, nine counters on this mm -hmm. in order to advance. Three, minor six. three times the number of players is what it says. Or, sorry, three more than oh, the number of players. Like, so close. six. So like, I don't know how we got there. Like, and we have the weathered hilltop in the, <coughs> excuse me, in the staging area, uh, which gets plus one threat for each resource token on it. And every time a weather treachery is revealed, we add a resource token to it. All right, let's get that box out of the way. Get the camera down on the table. Pull that. Uh, Closer there. All right, that's good, I think. <clears throat> All right, so resource phase. Add a resource to each hero. And draw a card. I got an honor guard. Minor of the honor. <clears throat> uh, my starting a hand, I had uh, Dern Dingle Warrior. Two copies of Gandalf, a sneak attack, a feint, and a steward of Gondor. I didn't really like getting two Gandalfs when I got this far in my draw. I was like, well, I'm probably going to mulligan this. But then I drew sneak attack, feint, and steward of Gondor. So that made me decide to keep it. So I will play steward of Gondor for two and then use it to get those two back. Um, let's see. Do we want to play Durndingle Warrior or Honor Guard? I think we want Honor Guard. He's good for uh, canceling uh, damage. And we definitely get a lot of damage in this scenario. So two for him. I can't use Nyasia's resources for that because she can't pay for allies. Unless her text box is blank. Which can happen in this scenario, as we've found out several times. Okay. All right, that's going to be it for me. I am doing. Yeah. Is it going to be helpful for you to have a forest snare in this area? Uh, sure probably, yeah. Okay. Well, how long am I that way? big. Uh, was it that orc, it orc chieftain or whatever he's called? Angmar captain. Angmar captain, that's the one. Team. He comes out. Under the mountain. Watch your, watch your. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Done? Yeah. Not even close. You gotta say what you're doing there? There's a prospector. One, two, three, I will save the healing herbs and put it back in my deck. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Ah. And this guy. Whatever his name is. Record <clears throat> keeper, man. Arabor record keeper? Yeah. They're all Arab or something. No. Hammersmith. That one's Arid Mithrin. Arid Arabor. <laughs> Are you done now? Depends. Same thing. Depends on which mountains they're from. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to discard Elven Light to trigger Alvin's ability to grant a resource. I give it to Glorfindel. Okay. Um, and then I will pay a blue resource to play Elven Light from my discard pile, which allows me to draw a card. Okay. With a second Hanamoth River Sovereign. Peaceful. But not when there's two of them. <coughs> Bless you. Um... I think I'll wait on him because I don't. Well, I won't be able to play that till next round, anyways. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and put him in the out. Okay. For one green resource. And I will attach a silver harp to Aelin, which lets me exhaust it to return a discarded card to my hand immediately. Okay. Done. All right, quest phase. Hmm. Should I send Halbrad or not? I think. Uh, oh, I guess we should designate our quest. Yep. We'll make protect the innocent the active quest. It currently has one damage on it that carried over from the previous scenario. Um, I'm not going to send anybody. I want to be able to kill some stuff. Three, six, eight. Eight from you? Okay, Emily. Ten. So eighteen. All right, card. A cornered orc. He's, he He's the double attack guy. When oh, yeah. he engages you. He will immediately attack you. Oh, yeah. Southwest. Make camp. Your companions are exhausted from tireless effort, but you must find a safe place to make camp before you can tend to their needs. Surge. Characters cannot be healed. Okay. However, after mate camp is defeated, each player heals up to three damage from a hero they control. Okay. No time limit on it? Nope. Surge. Biting winds. Weather. Weather. Okay. So we get a resource token on the weathered hilltop. When revealed, assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. Okay. Which well, is six. My honor guard can prevent or cancel one point of damage just dealt to a character. Okay. Well, then that would be five if we did that. 
Um, what's the wording on that side quest about when we get to heal everybody? Characters cannot be healed. No, no, no. When we get to heal them. You can heal when up to we... three damage from a hero. So it has to be one hero. Yeah. Um, Once it's defeated. Are, do we think we'll be able to do that one soon? We can do it next if we want. Possibly, this doesn't yeah. need anything. Right. right. Does it, I mean, like, how much progress does that side quest take? Six. Six. I'll put three on Gore for now. Okay. Sweet. I can do this guy. Okay. Now <laughs> exhaust honor guard to cancel the last point of damage. Okay. So this thing surges. Yeah, it does. It's weather. the first weather revealed this round. Oh. <laughs> You're just the surge master. Sheltered Valley. When Sheltered Valley is the active location, it gains response. When Sheltered Valley is explored, heal all damage from one character. Travel. Remove one resource token from the mission. Objective. Okay. You got your uh, map? No. <clears throat> Tragic discovery. When revealed, raise each player's threat by the threat of the active location. Three. Three. I don't Why does that tragic right discovery now? make? It just makes us sad. It's tragic. Okay. So what do we got Two, in the staging area? Four. Six. Six. And we sent 18. We did it. A little overkill. That's fine. <clears throat> <laughs> well, you say that, but then mm. we're going to get two more enemies come out. <laughs> Why are you? Uh, so we explore the exposed ridge. Which means we have to reveal two cards from the orc deck. First one is the concealed orc camp. Huzzah. Second one is an Angmar orc. Oh, that's the discard. Is that the win revealed? Uh, when revealed, either discard an ally from play or reveal an additional encounter card. I could do that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you only cost one. You've got another one in there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And the rest of it removes the one damage off of Protect the Innocent. And now we go to the encounter phase. No thanks. Um, Do you want both of them? Oh, you can't take both of them. Right? Well, you, I guess technically you can with the Airborne thingy. Well, and how Brad says I can optionally engage an additional enemy during the encounter phase. Oh, yeah. I can always optionally engage too. But I don't want both because <laughs> I can't defend three attacks. Right. Not yeah. not and kill something. Um so I'll be able to kill the cornered orc with Aragorn. Uh so I could use Halbred to defend one attack from it and Naosia to defend the other. That forest snare can only be played during the pl during the prep or planning, planning phase. phase. Correct. So you're gonna take the Angmar orc. Yup. And then I can pull it off of you after I kill this one. Okay. Unless you can kill it. I cannot. Okay. Can you damage it? I cannot. Okay. <laughs> You use too many defense. You can? Yeah. All right. Combat phase. Oh, he, he All right. He makes an immediate attack when, he, when I engage him. So I will have, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Halberad defend the first attack. Uh, no shadow effect. Now they're regular shadow cards for the combat phase. 
Oh, and he only deals uh, two attack, and he's got two defense, so no damage. Um, this only gets tokens on it if it's from an attack, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. So we're good. Too bad. We would have been able to clear it off anyway, but... All right. And then uh, Nyasia will defend. I'll go ahead and boost her defense just in case he gets boosted. Uh, search the ruins. Side quest. So no shadow effect. <laughs> okay. Who's defending the orky over there? Dane Iron Foot. Attack the enemy. Gets plus one attack. If this attack destroys a character, Rachel up by two. But it doesn't, because he has three shields. You. Dumb work. Okay. Does it take any damage? No. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then for attacks, uh, since I all enemies engaged with me get minus one defense, so he has no defense, two health. Aragorn hits him for three. He's dead. Pop. We put a resource <coughs> on hunting the orcs, and then as a response. After Aragorn participates in an attack that destroys an enemy, choose an enemy not engaged with you and engage that enemy. So I will engage the Angmar Orc. And now that I have an enemy engaged with me, Halbrad will be able to commit to the quest without exhausting. <clears throat> Alright, refresh phase. Uh, we forgot something already. What did we forget? The travel phase. Oh yeah. Where did we <laughs> want to travel to? Not the one that can heal us, because we can't heal right now. Right. Well, Emily can. Mm -mm. No, we can't. Nobody can be healed right now. Oh, we can't heal because no. of that thing, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I, I can heal. Concealed but... Orc Camp lets us... Uh... Put a thing. Put a thing. Uh, yeah, place a resource token on the mission objective. But to travel there, the first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for an orc enemy and puts it in play and engage with them. So we're not doing that. <clears throat> so I guess it's weathered hilltop. Sounds good. So we should have done that prior to the encounter phase, but we forgot. All right. Now refresh phase. And increase threat past the start player. That is fun with no people coming. Mark out. the end of the first round. It's so much less of <laughs> And resource phase. So how Brad's gonna get three. Well, Lindy. I have a feeling I'm probably going to wish I had an errand writer so I could send the, some of these resources somewhere. Guess what? I have five dwarves. <clears throat> it's like the first time this has happened. Draw a card. Ooh, I got bow hammer. Nice. Now if I just get my weapons, I'll be all set. I have five dwarves. Good. Which is like the first time this happened at all the times we've played it. <laughs> no, I think the first time I did it, you did as yeah. well. <clears throat> no, the first time we played this one, you did. What you doing? <clears throat> Bram. I'm Jane. Oh, wait. No, I can do that. Get out of the mountain. <laughs> Gandalf or Hammersmith? I'm doing it based solely on who I can play. <laughs> the Hammersmith. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Discarding a candle? Mm. Not gonna be able to use them. <clears throat> I'm gonna have 
two more in my in my deck. Okay. Don't worry, they'll come up. They always come up. Um, let's do Dory. Who can shoulder everyone's burdens? Okay. <laughs> Seven. Meaning he can take damage. Up to three. Okay. All right. Saving the snare for the captain, right? Huh? Probably. I would think so, yeah. I mean, this you guy only attacks for two, yet. so. He attacks for like five. Yes. Um. Elven Light, or er, discard Elven Light for Arwen's ability, mm -hmm. and I will give it to Herigorn. Um, I think I'll give it to Wendy, and then I will pay to play Elven Light for my discard and draw. Ugh, another minor player. <laughs> Card Don't you have something over there to let you take back the card you discard to? Well, yeah, like immediately when it's discarded, I can exhaust it to take so you, it back. So you could have used that to take what's his name back? Does that, does him being killed count as being discarded? He wasn't killed. Who? Oh, did it say discarded that way? Yeah. Well then, sure. I don't really need him in there, but I <laughs> guess when Hannah she didn't use her heart to oh, save oh, uh, I didn't Amarth think it counted. I didn't think it counted for that. Yeah, it says discarded, discarded I he was an ally. Being killed. Nope, just discarded. Yeah, he even got if scared even off. Even if they're destroyed, and they're still just discarded. Yeah, that's they get discarded when, yeah. they're, <laughs> when they're destroyed. So. Interesting. Silly pants. Um, well, I'll put him out there again. <coughs> and I don't really. Does anybody have any good allies for me to revive from their discard piles? Uh, Gandalf. Gandalf. <laughs> I don't have enough of that. Long beard elder. That's it. Five or three. Is the long beard elder like? Is he helpful with anything? Yeah. What's he do? Well, one, he's a dwarf, so he gets the benefits of Dane Iron Feud. Okay. And his thing is that after he commits the quest, you get to, to Peaky Peak. If it's a location, you put progress on the active location. If it's not a location, it's minus one. Well, sure, let's revive him. He will stand and fight. He's a pretty nice. He has a pretty cool beard. Well, he better. He's a dwarf. And his name is Longbeard. Uh, okay, that's all for me. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I don't really feel like we need Gandalf yet, so... think I will since you didn't give Aragorn a resource I can't play darn ding a warrior so oh, I'm not going to play anything really. since I didn't do what I give him a resource well you didn't tell me you needed it okay. can you also, even do I it I also needed it oh it's you fine. used it yeah oh <laughs> okay quest phase I'm sending <clears throat> How much do you send? Um, I'm probably gonna send twelve this time. You mean thirteen? No. I wasn't gonna send him off just in case there was a chump left. Yeah, oh. he's he's then, three. Yes, thirteen. Okay. Unless, I'll have to, yeah. 
Unless yeah. Dane is exhausted. Or unless he uh, fails at PTA. Yeah. Right. Okay. And you are well, sending... She can use Hennemark to peek to see if he should peek. That's true. <laughs> um, but then you won't have a defender. Right. Two. I'll send this one, this one, and that's four. Huh? Okay. What's the uh, active quest going to be? Oh, the make camp. Okay. I will send four. Okay. <coughs> So you sent eight last time. Thirteen. Oh, I'm holding Thirteen. So that's seventeen. Wait, did you send? We need you eleven have, progress. You, are, you have peaky. Oh, right now. It's a response, so it's optional. Oh, that's true. Are you gonna do it? I can it? send another person if we really need to. Well, we need eleven progress to clear that the location and the quest. Three more then. Okay, so that's 20. It is not a location. Okay. So minus one. So 19. We don't have time for this. We can pitch for A1 if we need to, right? Yes. And I can sneak attack Gandalf in if we really, really need to. <clears throat> Are you sending anybody? Uh, just... Uh, How about that? How Brad, because he doesn't have to exhaust. So that's 21. So as long as we don't get more than 10 threat in the staging area, we'll be fine. And as long as our text boxes don't get blanked. All right, cards. Oh, look, it's a quest. Which one? Find shelter. The weather is growing steadily worse and black clouds loom on the horizon. You must find a safe place to shelter or be caught in a storm. Dot, dot, dot. Search. <laughs> time four. After the last time counter is removed, each player deals four damage to a hero they control. What? Then place four time counters on this quick card. I don't like that. Sir, Ruins of Arnor. After the when revealed effect of a treachery card is canceled, raise each player's threat by two. Okay. Emily? Sheltered Valley. Two threat. While Sheltered Valley is the active location, it gains response. When explored, heal all damage from one character. We already got one. And mine is Ice Storm. Uh, weather. Oh, gross. So another resource token on Weathered Hilltop. The worst. And it gains Surge. Each player assigns X damage among characters they control, where X is the number of quest cards in play. Which is... Uh, one, two, three, four. So each of us has to do four damage? Yes. And then <laughs> exhaust each damaged character. So try to do it on ones that are already exhausted, if you can. Um... This is not good. Dear, no, it's not. Cancel card employee. Oh, no. the rather where is my job? I've just been drawing crappy cards this whole time. All right, well, I'm going to use honor guard to cancel one of the ones I have to assign. And I think I will put two on him. Mm. I guess I will put, I 
think we're doing okay progress wise, right? Well, it's going to surge, but yeah. So right now we have two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we're doing good on quests. So I think I'm okay with removing Halberd from the quest. Although it doesn't remove them, right? It just exhausts them. Yeah. So he's still mm -hmm. on the quest. That's fine. <clears throat> All right, so I did one on Halberd, two on Honor Guard, and then I exhausted Honor Guard to cancel the fourth, the third damage that he would have taken. Yeah, all four mm -hmm. are dang, oh, if we're gonna be able to kill someone three. Yeah, but I also don't want to die. <laughs> well, we're gonna be able to heal someone. We're gonna be able to heal someone right. three from that. I know, but... And then once we go to these two, we'll be able to heal all damage from a character, all damage right. from a character. I'm just concerned if your surge card is going to kill us. I mean, that's very possible. You know how this thing goes. I'm going to cram him so that he's not actually exhausted. Okay. Ancient Causeway. Uh, when Ancient Causeway is explored, raise each player's threat by two. Oh, yay. We're getting lots of locations here. Where's your northern trackers at, Emily? I don't know. <laughs> All right. <coughs> so we ended up with two, four, six, eight, eleven. And we sent 21, which is 10. So we're one short. Does anyone have a card they can pitch? I can definitely pitch one because I can get it right back. Okay. Cool. Mm. What's she chomping mm. on? I gave her a treat. Oh. <clears throat> All right. In that case, we have explored the weathered hilltop. Hooray. Hi means we reveal the top two cards of the orc deck. On oh, no, hooray. <laughs> uh, Angmar Marauder. And the Angmar Capitan. I'm a snare. <laughs> Somebody have to come down yet. Somebody needs nope. to, uh, well, somebody needs to engage him for me to be able to snare him. Right. So you gotta you gotta take one attack from him, but I have a faint, so oh, okay. <laughs> perfect. <clears throat> All right, so then we defeat make camp, so characters now can be healed, and mm -hmm. each player heals up to three damage from a hero they control. You're healed for him now. Oh, I forgot that was coming up. I guess I should have put all of this on. Him. Yeah, so when I assigned my damage, I actually assigned all of it to Halbrad, but then I used Honor Guard to cancel one of them, so he only took three. And now I heal three off of him. And that goes in the victory. We won't see that again. Alrighty, then the travel phase. Do we want to do one of those sheltered valleys now? Probably a good idea. Sure. Do we have anyone? Well, we don't really have anyone that has lots of damage, though. I guess not lots. Is it just you clear clear all for one character? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's possible that they could get lots. It's possible. In the time before we clear that. <laughs> What's our other options? Um, Ruins of Arnold. If we do Concealed Orc Camp, when we explore it, we'll get to put a thing on hunting the orcs. But to travel there, the first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for an orc enemy and puts it into play and gauge with them. Shuffle the encounter deck, which would be you. So I guess would you be okay with Putting an orc enemy engaged with you, Lizzie? Oh, what? <laughs> Are you not paying attention? No. 
No, I was saying it's Concealed I orc camp. That one. Well, we're talking about what to do. Oh. I don't want to do that. <laughs> well, Emily, you're, are you going to take one of the people that's in there? Because we have to take that orc guy. Yeah, we, all we have to take is that one. But if we're going to snare that man, then we also have to take him. Well, we don't have to yet. Will I not snare him the sooner the better? I mean, I can take him, and then I'll just faint him. But then someone's going to have to take that Angmar Marauder. Right, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm already taking him, I don't. Okay. I can't take another one. All right. Nope. Well, our other options is we can go to the Ancient Causeway, which is contributing three threat right now, and it only takes two to explore. Uh, but then we'll have to raise our threat by two at the end, but... It seems like a, the best option, though, to get that threat out of there. But it's your decision because you're the first player. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then in counter phase, I will optionally engage the Angmar captain. <clears throat> and you're going to take this guy. Just keep in mind, uh, if he attacks and destroys an ally, he returns to the staging area. Okay. Unfortunately, since I had to exhaust Halberad, I'm not going to be able to kill this Angmar orc either. So, all right, you have enough to pay for uh, for a snare on the next turn. Yes. Okay. All right, combat phase. What's the iron foot? Attacking gets plus one for each. Oh dear, for each damaged character you control. Three, so plus three. Gosh. <laughs> hey Emily, before I reveal this, you want to heal my people? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh boy. So how much does he attack for? Six. Does Dane take damage? Yeah. So one goes on protect the innocent. Well. <clears throat> oh, so much for that make camp. <laughs> okay. Sucked. Um, oh, wait, hang on. I'm hanging. Yeah, this feels like a good time for this. Uh, Duran Song. Actually, I could. Uh... Choose a dwarf hero. That hero gets plus two everything. Okay. So he only actually takes one damage. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh. But. Well, there's no action window between revealing a shadow card and resolving it. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just had to do that before you revealed the shadow card. I don't appreciate that. <clears throat> I should be able to sing a song whenever I want. <laughs> he attacks you too fast. All right. I am going to faint the Angmar captain. Use Naosia's resource for that. Um, and then she will defend the Angmar Orc. I will boost her defense by two. Just in case. Oh, it's Mysterious Omens. No shadow effect on that. Okay. Player attacks. Well, now I'll sing my song <laughs> and give Ori plus two attack. Okay. To kill him. Nice. Six. <laughs> Second resource on hunting the orcs. Four to go. <clears throat> so I could sneak attack Gandalf in to 
kill this Angmar Orc. So let me draw three cards. Hopefully I can get some weapons or something for Aragorn. All right, so we're going to pay one for a sneak attack. <clears throat> Play Gandalf. And then Gandalf, and or when I play Gandalf, then I can either draw three cards, deal four damage to an enemy in play, or reduce your threat by five. I will draw three cards. And I get another feint, a veteran axe hand, and send for aid side quest. Send for aid. <clears throat> Not what I was looking for. Um, it has a response of when this stage is defeated, each player may search the top 10 cards of their deck for an ally and put it into play under their control. Each player who did shuffles their deck cool. and takes six progress. <coughs> All right, and then Gandalf and Aragorn will tag team on the Angmar Orc and kill him. Actually, I don't know why I, I shouldn't have actually engaged this one. I could have just had Aragorn pull him down. I wouldn't have to waste my feint. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, well. Um, and then this is discarded. Oh, good. It was a cornered orc. Oh, I don't know. They're not that bad. They're pretty easy to kill. So, All right. Refresh phase. That's the start player. Raise your threat by one. And then um, mark off the end of round two. Oh, and we remove a resource from Find Shelter. So we only have three rounds left to do that. Oh yeah, and Gandalf should have come back into my hand at the end of the combat phase. Okay. Who needs healed? Resource phase. One. <laughs> one. And three. Left. One. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> um, everybody draw a card? Yes. Ooh, there we go. Sword of Numenor. All right. I will snare this Angmar captain. Okay. <laughs> three. So Oop. he is basically out of action. He'll still get dealt a shadow card every round, but... I will be attacking us. discard Elven Light to trigger Arwen's ability and give Glorfindel an extra resource. And then I will spend that resource to heal we'll one probably, from Ironfoot. Yeah. Probably will want to kill him because then we'll get to put a resource on hunting the orcs. Yeah, um, he, can, he can wait until yeah. it's an okay yeah. better handle on things. Yeah. Well, um, if I bring Gandalf in again, I can uh, slap four damage on him. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and use this by Elven Light for my discard to draw an extra card. Self-preservation. Nice. So this one is an attachment um, right. that you can exhaust to heal two points of damage from the attached character. Yep. I cannot afford it right now, but yep. eventually someone can have that. That's all for me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pay one purple resource to play Sword of Numenor on Aragorn. So it gives him plus one attack. And after he participates in an attack that destroys an enemy with five or more printed hit points, I can exhaust it to add a resource to his resource pool. But the other thing, now that I have that out, is I can use Foe Hammer. Uh, after a hero I control attacks and destroys an enemy, I can exhaust a weapon card attached to that hero to draw three cards. Let's get some more card draw going here. 
All right, and then I think I will go ahead and play. Let's see, I've got two red resources. I can either put, would I rather have Dern Dingle Warrior or Veteran Axe Hand? Does that, uh, does Dane give him plus attack as well? Mm -hmm. Nice. Just not plus defense. Just not defense, okay. Cannot have restricted attachments. No, he's defending. I can deal one damage to give him plus three defense. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'll go for the attack power though. So I'm going to pay two off of Aragorn to put Veteran Axe Hand into play. He has three attacks since thanks to Dane. And then. I'm going to go ahead and spend five off of Halberad to put Gandalf into play for the whole round this time. And when he enters play, hmm, I want to deal the damage to the captain or do I want to draw three more cards? Yeah, we got plenty of time to kill him. I'm gonna take three more cards. Doesn't he deal damage in that? Huh? I thought. No, that's one of the three things you can choose. Oh. I thought you said he did both last time. Nope, I did not. Uh, so I drew Veteran of Osgiliath, another Dern Dingle Warrior, and Hour of Wrath. Choose a hero until the end of the phase. The chosen hero does not exhaust to attack or defend. Or once my threat reaches 40, I can choose a player until the end of the phase. Each of that player's heroes does not exhaust to attack or defend. So that'll come in handy if we need to kill off a whole bunch of stuff. All right. That is all for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a very good tail. <clears throat> exhaust this one. Exhaust this one for a total of five. Now, oh, first, shuffle your deck. Well, second, discard your top five cards. Third, choose two allies to put into play that equal or less than the number of people's costs <laughs> that I exhausted. Which in this case is five. <laughs> okay. You get to pick one from the ones Two. you discarded. Two. Yeah. You get to well, see what they are first before yeah, you, you choose who to exhaust. And then choose two that were discarded to put into play. Okay. And the Hammersmith is an option. This man is an option. Not an option. 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 Fortunately, no discarded cards that time. I think I will do a Longbeard Elder and another Prospector. Okay. To replace the Prospector that exhausted to bring him in. And then, because he's in play, I get to discard the top three cards in my deck. Okay. Two. Yay! I got one. I got I one what? Choose one of the people that discards is good. Uh, Which one? The miner. Which miner? The Lewin miner. Arid Lewin. Arid Lewin miner. There you go. Okay, now choose a card to put back in my deck. We'll do one of these nerdy belts because I discarded two of them now. Okay. <clears throat> and then, <coughs> for my next That's... trick, I'll do King Under the Mountain to draw two cards and discard one. Oh, look at that, Narvi's belt. 
I already have a golem, so we'll take Narvi's belt. Oh, and then... Mm. I'm not going to play anything. Okay. Quest phase. Who are you sending over there? <clears throat> thirteen. You're sending thirteen. I said, who are you sending? You have to peek at this. Or I guess you don't have to. You have the option to you look can at peek that. At um, there's no people out right now, right? There's not a whole lot no of people. Enemies? No enemies? No. They're all right there. No, I know. So I was like considering using Henmark to peek first. Mm. Oh. But then I won't have anybody left. So that should probably be fine, right? Let's go for it. <laughs> not a good reason. Okay. So I will not. Eh, you can't be good. <laughs> well, so I will be. not be peeking with Longbeard. Okay. <clears throat> um, I will send Halberad. And that is all. So two more from me for 15. No Gandalf. Nope. I'm going to have him help kill the Angmar captain. Okay. Yep. I will send my long beard and I will I also not him. Okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um... Eight. I assume you're making find shelter the active quest. I guess. Okay. What do we have so far? Seventeen. Hmm? Seventeen. Uh. Eighteen. Before you, we were at yeah. fifteen. Oh, just okay. Okay. Uh. Six. We do eight. You're doing eight? Yeah. That's 23. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Card, Emily. <laughs> A cornered orc. Okay. Ah. <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, weather. We don't have any of those ones out, do we? No. To get a resource, okay. Uh, cold from Angmar. When revealed, each player deals one damage to a hero they control. Just to a hero? Yeah. I will exhaust Honor Guard to prevent mine. Uh, attach Cold from Angmar to the current quest. Oh, no. Counts as a condition attachment with the text. Treat each damaged character's printed text box as if it were blank, except for okay. keywords and traits. It it's also yeah. okay, because as long as we ex uh, defeat this quest, it goes away. I know, but we lost a bunch. I know. <clears throat> How much is a bunch? Uh... One, you two, counted him as three, three, right, Emily? Yes, I did. Okay. Four. So four less. Yeah. Nineteen. And we can't discard any just in case. Correct. Okay. That also means at the end of the round... Well, if we don't explore that, then Gandalf gets to stick around. <laughs> Weathered Hilltop. Okay. Weathered Hilltop gets plus one for every resource token. Wait. That's mine. Did you surge your weather? No. So that's my surge card. <laughs> Pull from Angmar. Ugh. It's actually kind of good. 
I guess. <laughs> you don't want a lot of people to put damage on. I will damage Aragorn. If you can pile it up, that, that location lets us heal from a character. I know. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> all don't of my pile it up too much. <laughs> are almost yeah. dead. Because the those locations are all damaged from one character, right? Yes. This? No. No, these ones. Oh, I was like, this is where you travel to. <laughs> no. So I guess we should have traveled to one of those. What? All right. That's is it. that all of it? Yes. It's okay. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we sent 19. So we made 7 progress, which is 1 short. <laughs> well, all our tax boxes are blank. Correct. Yeah. So we do explore this. Which means two more from the orc deck. An Angmar Marauder. Man, that would have been and another so concealed old. orc camp. Yep. We got an Angmar Orc and a or Angmar Marauder and a concealed orc camp. And we got, and then the other uh, five progress goes on to the side quest. And we missed it by one. Travel things? Uh, well, probably one of those Healy places, huh? Yeah. Yep. Now we have to take this off. Uh, ooh, yeah, we do. That kind of stinks. I mean... I can put an L on to one more turn so I can save one of my people. Okay. So if we don't want to, we can just do it. Alright. So we had to remove a resource token from the mission objective to travel there. And now we got two enemies that we have to encounter. What's his uh, force thing? And one of them is a cornered orc. The other one, what's his force thing? His is if he destroys an ally, then he returns to the staging area. I mean, I can. Def I won't have to defend the Angmar captain, so I could take the cornered orc and defend both of his attacks, and still be able to kill him. I won't be able to kill the uh, captain though. Gandalf will do four. He's got one shield, so he'll. I'll get. I'll put three damage on him, but then Gandalf gets to stay, so that's okay. Hmm. And then I can pull the guy off of you. Well, I'm just trying I to figure out because <laughs> he might uh, end up having to go back to the staging. That's area. fine. Then I pull him from the staging area. Okay. <laughs> because I can't risk a uh, staying defending. <laughs> no. Which means it has to be an ally. All right, so I'll take the cornered orc. You take the Angmar Marauder. And he makes an immediate attack, which I'll have Halberd defend. No shadow. And then regular shadow cards. Almost through that deck already. <clears throat> Nyasia will defend this one. Plus one. So she will take one damage, which means we put a damage on Protect the Innocents for two. And 
got boosted by his buddy. Um, don't go that it's only damaged characters. Text What's that boxes. now? This is only damaged characters text boxes. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. Did you know that, Emily? Um, no, but it doesn't change anything on my end. Aiden I thought it was all. Damaged. So Gandalf will be going Was away. she already damaged? But in that case. That? No, she was already damaged from before. Um, one from that text, one from that one. Well, there was two from that. It came out twice. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter when when they got the damage. If they're damaged right now, their text box is blank. No, but I'm saying because the these did damage. So I'm saying right. if she put it on there not knowing that it only affected damaged characters' text boxes, she could have not put the damage from this. Oh, on AOS. On AOS. Oh, right, so right, right. No, she was... She right, I got damage. you. But I'm saying if she was already damaged, it wouldn't have mattered. All right. So in that case, I would have used Naosia's resource to boost her defense, and then she didn't actually take a damage. I think I'm going to check the other two. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was checking because I was like, if it's everyone's text box, how will we ever get rid of that with condition <laughs> stuff? Because well, the minor. Oh, no, but I'm not going to. Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to be able to pull that enemy to me. Oh, okay. Oh, it's okay because we'll be in there. Yeah. It's fine. Um, yeah, I was like, this is going to be a never ending loop. We can never get rid of this. <laughs> that also means they don't have. Oh, I still got the axe hand, though. Dane's damaged, right? So he's only got two attack. Yeah. And I'll be one short. Also, that doesn't mean that Gandalf's going to go back. Right. He's oh, but Ergorn's still here. So, yeah, I can. Shush. Four. Are you going to do your attack? Yeah, I don't know what you were doing. If you were I'm done. just figuring out how I can kill this stuff. <laughs> uh, either. Raise your threat by three, or this attack is considered undefended. <laughs> he does three damage. Goodbye, Arizona Miner. Goodbye, Angmar Marauder. Five, six. Man, either way, I can only do six with two of these guys. And this guy doesn't have enough, so I can't kill both of them. Hmm. Mm. You can not. Just kidding. Oh no, he's not damaged. You can. How? Because he can use a green resource to unexhaust any dwarf character. So you can use your dwarf twice. Oh, okay. All right. Let's do that then. Yeah, because then he can do. Actually. No, no, it doesn't work out that way. I need you to unexhaust one of these two. <laughs> well, they're not dwarfs. <laughs> so I can't. Oh, well, that's Because, yeah, he can, he can kill... Either one of these can kill him by himself, but he can't. Uh oh So, even oh, if yeah, I do... Don't forget that your defense thing is moot. As well. I know. That's why. Oh, okay. If it wasn't, then these two could kill him. But they cannot, so yeah, that won't help. All right, so I guess I do want to make sure that Aragorn kills something, though. So I want to have him kill the cornered orc. <clears throat> and then I will play Foe Hammer. If I can find it. Uh, after a hero you control attacks and destroys an enemy, exhaust a weapon card attached to that hero to draw three cards. So I get yet another Gandalf. Uh, Faramir, nice. And another Faramir. <laughs> All right. And then... Gandalf and the veteran axe hand will hit the Angmar captain for six. He's got two shields, so he takes four damage. Did you give him the shot? Do card? 
Uh, oh no, I didn't. So he should have had this shadow. He should have had this shadow card. This guy should have had your shadow card. Where's your shadow card? I put it in there because he went back to the stadium. It was going to raise your threat by three to one. Okay. So lower your threat by three. And he would have actually gotten that one. So I would have raised my threat by three. This is a good thing my guy was already done. <laughs> and then what was yours? Uh, attacking enemy gets plus one for each damage character you control. Okay. <laughs> he was already dead anyway, so... It worked so out he, okay. So he killed a guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So we get a damage on Protect the Innocent. Mm -hmm. And then he went back to the staging area. And then this shadow card never got revealed. That was the corner dork that I thought was on this corner dork. And this corner dork is dead. Okay, now I think we're straight. Did you put the progress on the thing, on the killing thing? No. So we get another resource on hunting the orcs. Halfway there again. <clears throat> Alright, so are we ready for the resource phase then? Refresh everybody and everything, and raise your threat by one. I'm almost into the valor range, and end of round three. Gandalf gets discarded. I don't think I have enough airborne record keepers. <laughs> I just drew my other two. Gandalf. I didn't even have Gandalf in my hand. <laughs> in your hand? Did you just draw him? In my deck at least. Oh, everyone has Gandalf in their deck. Uh, Silly. Not always. This time. Only when you were Gandalf. Um, you know, like Gandalf. Yeah. yeah. Alright, resources. Now Brad gets three. One for them. Draw a card. Secret Vigil. Ooh. Nice. Throw that on that guy and we'll all get to reduce our threat by three. Nice. Beautiful. I'm first player now? Yes, you did. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll attach this to the Angmar Captain. Pay for it with Aragorn's resource. And what else can I do? I can play Faramir. So four purple resources. place to put everybody okay I think that is all I can do I have one resource for my faint if I need it Need to make five okay. progress this time. Under the mountain. Assuming that uh, we're going to make find Ooh. shelter. The oh, we should have removed another resource token from five sh find shelter. So we got two rounds left to complete that. A hidden cash mm. found the right way. <laughs> <laughs> What's that do for you? I get to put two resources in the pool of the hero I control. Bloop, bloop. Okay. And. Join the party, Elrond. Nice. And heal Dane. <laughs> so he doesn't die and we get his bonus back. Bloop, bloop. Ah, he's so refreshed. 
Oh yeah, if you could heal uh, Aragorn, that would be helpful, Emily. And I just, he's broken. All right, you can't use this. He's broken. Right. Well, I mean, I'm going to put out a miner, which will get rid of it, but that's I won't no. have any resources left. Which will get rid of what? It only gets rid of one. There's two on there. Yeah, there's, no, mean, like, there's no point in doing that. We're gonna we're gonna explore it this time, or defeat it. I mean. Uh, okay. Boom, going. Welcome to the party. The good thing is, is we're gonna defeat it right after we do a reshuffle, so it won't be back in for quite a while then. <laughs> Two resources from Gloin. Because he's cool like that. And because I control five dwarfs or more. Okay. And who to put in? Hmm. Hmm. Let's. Sure, why not? Okay. Emily? I am officially done. Um, I'll put Lindir into play. Okay. What's he do? Nothing right now. He has a response if I have fewer than three cards in my hand. I draw until I have three. Nice. But I've got a bunch. And his stats are 2 1 2. Okay. He's gonna go being quest less. Or he could be a black card too. <clears throat> um, and then I'll discard Elven Light to trigger Arwen's ability to give Glyphon Mill. So I can save up for that self preservation. Okay. And that is all. <laughs> Alright. I am sending Halbarad on the quest without exhausting him for two. Hmm. I'll send these guys for sure. Okay. Are you going to have them look? I'm going to have one of them look. <laughs> and then, based on the first one, <laughs> I'll see if the second one will look. <laughs> because I have to send all my people first, right? Because How's that word? Because he commits to a quest. But you said that everyone commits at the same time. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all characters, all players' characters commit to the quest simultaneously. And then you resolve any responses from them. And that guy. Sorry. Eleven. I think that's good, right? Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. So 13? Well, maybe 11. I have to see if it's good. Okay. Not to location? It is correct. I sent 10. Okay. Because only one of them peaked. It's that biting wind one. Oh no. <laughs> Do you have any? Oh, cancel. Dang it. I sent so many people. Okay. Everybody that's going? Yeah. Hmm. Well, we have to collectively do damage equal to the number of people in the class. Right. But we need more people, so. Or, oh no, we only need one for that. So. Yeah, we only need five progress. We currently have two, four, six, eight, ten. There's thirteen in there right now, though. <laughs> we have twelve committed right now. Yeah. You have fair. Yeah. Okay. How many did you send? One, two, three, four people. Okay. So I can add four more with Faramir. And also, text box is also, still going to be blank at that point, right? 
Of, of, yeah, anyone's. of yeah. anyone's that's damaged, yeah. yes. But also, also, don't forget that one person in those doors will heal all the way. Right. But that's still <laughs> after we figure out. That's how after much... we resolve no, the question. No, I know, but I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, about so Aowen can't help. I just meant when I'm thinking about damage placement. Do you think 10 will be enough? No, because that'll probably just be good. 22. That'll be 22 total. Okay, so 13 so far. Well, 26 total. Yeah. That should be, should be enough. So? Yeah. Okay, just 10 then. Okay. Did you send your dwarf for now? Me? No. Does it help me if I do? He just gets plus one from me. So it's a weather, so we throw a token on weather hilltop. Uh, when revealed, assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. You have how many? Four. You have three, and I have one, so that's eight. So we have to assign eight damage. I can cancel one with Honor Guard. So we need to deal seven damage among characters committed to the quest. I can for sure do one on each of my people. So that'd be four. Okay, so we're up to five right now. I mean, I can put one on Halberad. That's six. Just don't forget that whoever gets damaged, their tax box is yeah. looted. His doesn't matter yeah. at this point. So we're up to seven right now, or six right now, and we only have to do seven total. Mm -hmm. Did you cancel one? Uh, and I can do one more if I need to, because Gwen has three health, so I could do one more. You gonna do it? Okay. Yup. And then surge. Reshuffle. And draw it again. Okay, here you do. We're done. <laughs> All of my people on the quest are one away from being dead. So I can't believe you haven't gotten a single cancel card yet. <laughs> I told you I've been drawing spooky cards and a lot of duplicate cards. Surges into Biting Wind. Is it really? Yep. So deal eight more damage among characters committed to the quest. I can do two without killing anybody. I can do two on Halberad. So that's four. Do you have any room on your quest people? No, they will die. Do you have allies you can kill off? That's all I have. Okay. I'm saying if I do it on, if I take the last four, one, two, three, four, we lose ten. I can't take any more because Halberd's one away from dying, so, so and he's the only one I sent. Let you know we're gonna lose all my quest points. Well, that's what we're gonna have to do because so the other six, option is killing heroes. Three, six. How much did I? You have to do four damage. I know. I don't remember how much I said that I committed. So I think well, I added. I committed much. ten. I don't know how much Dad did. Well, how much did you six, commit? Three, six, eight, eight, plus three. Oh, Eleven. No, that was right. Because then. And then you lost worse. one. So yeah, ten. So minus ten. Okay. Hi, <clears throat> <Bye>, everybody. <laughs> okay, your card, Lizzie. That was just the first card. <laughs> we got two more to reveal. 
じゃあこうなるのか。Okay. Search the ruins. Your enemies lurk somewhere in the decrepit ruins around you, a constant threat until you search them out. Surge! Horse at the end of the refresh phase, raise, raise each player's threat by two. Response after it's defeated, reduce each player's threat by three. And it takes eight. Okay. Oops, sorry. And the surge is weathered hilltop. Okay. So how much do we have in there? Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We sent twelve. How many people did you send, Emily? Three people. So we can increase it by three. So we sent fifteen. One. I gave it six. Seventeen. Thought you said sixteen. Thought I said seventeen. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So raise threat by two. Um, not traveling anywhere. Encounter phase. We have to take the Angmar Orc and the Cornered Orc. I can do the Marauder. Or the Angmar Marauder, yeah, sorry. Um, I think I will take the Cornered Orc then, I guess. Let's see, you want to take two attacks, Emily? I mean, I can, or I would just lose Hedemars, but I don't want to replace it with. But if it doesn't hurt you to take any of them back. I mean, it depends. Mm. If he gets boosted at all, he'll kill Halberad. Or I guess I could have the veteran axe hand block him. Well, I mean, I could take him, but I would I would defend with Lindir and then Hedemar. Um, Lindir's got two shields, so unless he got boosted by two, he wouldn't be killed. Right. He's also got two health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take him. Okay. So he gets a shadow card for his immediate attack. Uh, defending with uh, veteran axe hand to be on the safe side. No shadow effect. So veteran axe hand takes one damage, which puts another one on protect the innocent. And then regular shadow cards. Angmar Captain first, then Cornered Orc. Mm, no, other way around. Because the Cornered Orc does an attack on you. Yeah, he just did. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, so then. He's not attacking, so then Nyasia, I'll boost her defense. Uh, attacking enemy gets plus one, no damage. Good. Is that it for you? Mm hmm. Okay, I will do Elrond. Three to kill. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Assign X damage among characters you control. <laughs> X is the number of quest cards in play. One, two, three, four. All right. Oh, That's okay. just you? Yes. Mm -hmm. One, two. Yeah, you haven't gotten any of your healing cards. So you well, have I have self-preservation, but I haven't been able to pay for it yet. You haven't got any of your cancel cards. You haven't got any of your northern trackers. Nope. <laughs> okay. Bunch of useless cards. So he doesn't take any damage from him because he has half defense. Okay. Uh, 
well, in the situation again where neither one of these can kill that cornered orc on their own or finish off the Angmar captain, so. Um, your axe is boosted this time because Dane is fully recovered. Well, he defended, so. <laughs> um, I can add exhaustion if you need me to. That'll help. Um, yeah, because then he could kill this guy on his own. And then these guys could tag team to finish him off. Well, actually, he can... Well, hang on. He can kill the Angmar Captain by himself. Or the Angmar Orc. But, yeah, Halberd needs help on either for either of them, so... Alright. So, I refresh the Veteran Axe Hand. Um, Aragorn will kill the... Angmar Captain, which triggers a couple of responses here. So first response, after attached hero participates in an attack that destroys an enemy with five or more printed hit points, exhaust Sword of Numenor to add one resource to attached hero's resource pool. So he gets a resource. Yay. And then the second response is, what was this shadow card? Oh, good. It was one of the weather cards. Um, the second response is... And you can use that to get that back, right? Um, secret Vigil. The attached After attached enemy is destroyed, reduce each player's threat by the attached enemy's printed threat, which was three. So we're down to 38 for me. Did you guys reduce your threat by three? <laughs> that goes in my discard pile, so I have an attachment in my discard pile now in case anyone has a dude that can fish those out. Oh, this guy's dead. And then, no, not yet. And then Halberad and the Veteran Axe Hand will double team the Cornered Orc to finish him off. And we've now got five on hunting the orcs. And now we have six. <laughs> oh, so you're killing your guy? Yep. Nice. Okay, so we now have six resources on hunting the orcs. Now we have six resources. Once we do, we flip hunting the orcs and place each resource token that was on it on savage counterattack. So Savage Counterattack, after Savage Counterattack enters play, advance to stage 2A. And then after an enemy attacks and destroys a character, discard one resource token from Savage Counterattack. And if there are no resource tokens here, the players lose the game. So we advance to stage 2A, which says... You've hunted the orcs to their secret gathering place on the northern edge of the Weather Hills, the old Dunedain border fort of Ammon Forn. With nowhere left to run, the orcs turn and fight with desperate savagery. When revealed, end the current phase. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and the orc deck into the encounter deck. Reveal orc ambush and Ammon Forn and add them to the staging area. We take the rest of the orc deck and the discard pile and shuffle those back into the encounter deck. And then we reveal orc ambush, which is a side quest. Uh, several orcs spring upon you from their hiding place. Their surprise attack puts you on the defensive. You must fight to gain the upper hand. Each orc enemy gets plus one threat Attack and defense. When revealed, each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for an orc enemy and put it into play engaged with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. And Ammon Forn adds four more threat to the staging area. It's immune to player card effects, and while it's the active location, it gains forced after an orc enemy is added to the staging area. It makes an immediate attack against the first player. We need it. Back it up. What? what do we need to back up? Did this just come up? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that was the one that you would be... Oh, that's this one. And I was like, we have been doing this whole round, girl. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that got revealed yes. by advancing to stage I two. Thought, I thought that was this one. The one that was already out from you revealing it from your card. Okay. So... Oh, so you can stop thing. shuffling okay. because we have to search it <laughs> for an orc enemy and put it into play. And then shuffle it. Okay, we got Angmar orc. But the combat phase is over, so these guys won't be attacking us. Marauder orc. Yet. And cornered orc. And the Angmar captain. And it says... Put it into play so it does not trigger their when revealed. So we could make one of them the Angmar captain and just snare him again. Good. Which would essentially take one out, but right. still fulfill our requirements. We'll put him with me because I get advantage by having things engaged with me. Um. So would you like an Angmar orc, an Angmar marauder, or a cornered orc? She wants a cornered orc, and so do you. Mm. This just says after he engages you, he makes a second, an immediate attack. Hmm. It says, I think it says he's put of... into play, engaged with the player. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I guess that would still trigger. This one wouldn't trigger the discard one ally from play guy. Right. So, yeah, probably, so you probably want those. <coughs> What do they hit for? Uh, the two. orcs hit for two, have a defensive three, life point of three. The marauder has attack three. Oh, but they're all boosted, aren't they? Yes. So, so they all have plus one attack, yeah. plus one defense. So with that card, they hit for three, have four defense, and three health. And the marauder attacks for four. Has defense of three and four health. So they're both the same amount to kill. It's just the one attacks for one more. That has a fewer defense. Well, we want the one that opposite. we don't have to deal with their win revealed effect. And there you go. <laughs> Let me find one for myself. Yeah, it doesn't say they have to be different. So. There you go. Okay. Shuffle the encounter deck. So. All right. So 2B requires 20 progress. Already, this is cornered animals. Already weary from days of travel through harsh weather, you are hard pressed to match the orc's ferocity. You must rally your men or see them fall. Each damaged character gets minus one willpower. At the beginning of the quest phase, either discard one resource token from savage counterattack or... Reveal an additional encounter card this phase. If the players defeat this stage, they win the game. So, so the plays I watched, you basically want to remove one from this until you're down to like only one or two left. Yeah. And just not let any people die from attacks. Yeah. <laughs> um, the thing that oh. was saying when you defeat a thing, put a thing on the mission objective, was that the 1A side? Or 1B. Yeah. That was this, like the yeah. previous stage. Okay. Right. These ones still say put one on the mission objective. And this is technically the mission you objective. You mean remove one from the mission objective? No, no, no. <laughs> These, the cornered orc camp or whatever. Oh, place one. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So those ones will still. Yeah. So we can use that to yeah. build that back up. Yeah. But I didn't know if it was like the this that was telling us for the people thing mm -hmm. the object or this thing. no that was representing us hunting them and now we're no longer hunting them they're counter attacking us okay. are you back? Uh, I think so I okay. just finished combat phase so since all round is uh, damage he doesn't have to go away right his text box is blank so <laughs> um, we remove another 
one from Find Shelter, so we have to complete that this round, or we're all going to have to deal four damage to a hero. Yes, I <laughs> Um, Raise Threat by one. That was the end of round four. Don't, don't we have a side quest in there that makes us raise it by more? Mm. Oh, no, that was a card that you drew. It said we have to... Oh, yeah, this one. At the end of the refresh phase, raise each player start by two. Yeah. Okay. So, so is that two instead of one? Or no, that's two, two additional. Two. Yeah. Okay, then. 41. So I'm in Valor range again. And then resource phase. One for Aragorn, one for Nyasia, three for Halberad. <laughs> Sounds like the garage. Go open it. Is it what's his face? Go open it. Kitty outside? I don't think yeah, so. Just as well, over there. Yeah, he's not going to go around. He was like over there, like where the bikes are. Was he like, stuck? As soon as I opened the door, he like darted out of the garage. <laughs> was he stuck? I don't think so. He ran out right away. Okay. Is there something over there? Huh? Is there something All right, over there? let's continue. Everybody get their resources. Yeah. Everybody draw a card. A third Dern Dingle Warrior. Okay, another Elven Knight. <sighs> All right, I better find shelter this turn. Mm. You're first. Oh. King under the mountain. One, two. Oh, I think I'll discard this hidden cash and keep my third Elrond. <laughs> okay. There's so many Elrond now. Um, so we need to give somebody some resources. I think I'll probably give it to. Two resources from the cash, and then I'll play Gandalf. Okay. And then we'll damage Gandalf so he can never use it. <laughs> Just kidding, because hopefully we're gonna get through that this time. <laughs> yeah, if we don't, we're <laughs> definitely done for. Okay. okay. Um, what are you doing? Killing a thing. So four damage on something. Yeah. Not him. I guess I'll do Emily since. Uh, okay. You'll probably have He's a dead. Time killing him. Yep. Done? Is that it? Uh, yep. I don't have any resources. Force snare this guy again. Mm -hmm. Boom. And that is all. Gandalf again. Sure did not. Don't think we want to fool around with the side quest. Did I draw another foe hammer? Or do I just never discard it? I guess I never did. 
discard it when I played it. Oops. <laughs> Um, let's see. I think I will pay two from Aragorn to play one of my Durndingle Warriors. Uh, they enter play exhausted because they're Ents. Um, yeah. Still got a faint. You remember that. And I think I will use three uh, purple resources to put in Veteran of Osgiliath. He gets plus one willpower, plus one attack, and plus one defense while your threat is 40 or higher, which it is. So he's now 2-3-2. Two, two. Don't forget all damaged characters have minus one willpower. Um, and that's it for me. Quest. Yeah. We have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen in there right now, and we need to make. Five progress. Two. We have how many? 16, 17. I don't know, whatever I said. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen. Two, four, six. Number minus one if they're damaged. Yeah. Hmm. So, two, six, eight. Nine. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you sending them? Remember, minus one if they're damaged. Right. Which would work with the at cost. Cause... Mm hmm. Dang. Let's see how we do this. So. Eleven. Eleven? Mm-hmm. So twenty. And I will send um I'll send Veteran of Us Gileath for two. It's twenty two. You sent how many people? Five? Yes. So Faramir can boost us by five. But right now at 22, we have one more than we need. That 22 is not including So I think Faramir. I will send. Correct. Okay. I think I will also send. Alvarad, he will have to exhaust since he's damaged. His text box is blank. He's only one, but that one was how much we were short last time, so. <laughs> Ready? Time before last, actually. Yep, we'll see. <laughs> what? Fighting wind. So, weather. Um, what? What about the weather? This is a weather car. So okay. Put a thing no on. surge. 
So you gotta put it in um, the That still applies to these though, right? Yeah. yeah. So they each get one. But it does not surge anymore. Assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. <laughs> I can only take one without killing anybody. So how much do we need? Two. And I, could, I have five committed. So that's seven. I have four. Eleven. So I can take one without killing anybody. I can take... And then Honor Guard can cancel one, so we I need ten. My allies. I can take one. That's it. I can definitely take one. I mean, I can take two, but then we'll lose two willpower off the quest. Yeah. I can do three for sure. So we're up so to five How many five have we so done far? so far? Five. Five, so we need five more. So... I could take, I can take one more. Do the newly damaged characters Here. get minus one more power as well? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so okay. I have minus one on the quest now. Oh, well, so, me do, too. so do I. Just minus one? Right now. Okay. Um, I, you took one more, so we're down to yeah. four. So we've lost three off the quest so far? Yeah. I could take two more, but we will then lose three more points off the quest. I could take I one more take and only more lose and one we'll point. Lose three points. <laughs> I would. I could take one more and lose one. So, if I take one more, I could. This guy has one and one. This guy's adding two and one. Right. But you can only take one on him. This guy, yeah. I can take one on each, but then that'll take both of them out, and that's three points off. Mm -hmm. Right. And this would be four. How is it three points off? Because he's giving two because he's not damaged. Oh, right, right. He's plus one on the thing. So, if you kill both of them, that's only you're only taking two damage, though. I'm only taking two damage. We're losing three points. Yeah, that's not a good trade. <laughs> You can take all four and we only lose no, three points? I can take two more and lose three points. Uh oh. What if you only take one more? Then we can lose one point. And if you take two, we lose three? Mm hmm. Because this guy is contributing two right now. Right. So, yeah, I think you take one. Okay, so Lindir is out. And that's minus one more mm -hmm. willpower. Yeah. Did you already do the minuses for the newly damaged people? Yeah, he did. Yeah. That. And then I take another one, which takes one more out. We lose veteran of Osgiliath. <clears throat> and you said you can take two. I can. We'll lose three more. We lose three more from that. Yeah. I could only take one more and it would lose two. So even if we did like one here and one way, on that way, it's still three points. Either way, it's the same, yeah. yeah no matter so we're down to 15. It's going to be three points. This okay. Is another attack. That was another yeah. Attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So now where are we at? Your turn. Your turn to draw a card. Cornered orc. Doesn't say if you say fighting one. I'm just gonna walk out the door. Angmar orc. Ah, we have to look now. Or reveal another card. I could do Hanamar. Okay. And then take him back. <laughs> yeah, it's something I have. Probably won't be losing any more cards this round, so we'll just do that for Lindir since I already have a hand of mine for me. Okay. So, what do we got? 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 22. 22. And we sent 15. <laughs> Fair American add. You sent four people? Mm -hmm. So Fair American adds four more. I sent four. 19. And how much did I say that was? 22. 22. So raise our threat by three. And we go another round with... We don't go another round. No. Because we're going to die. <laughs> uh, yeah, because we each have to deal four, four damage, damage to a hero, own. right? Yeah. Oh, well then, yeah. yeah. So we're done. <laughs> we can't even do it on easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> Not without cancels. <sighs> Shit, surgery I mean, four, four biting wins. There was a healing card. I mean, we didn't get lucky enough for any of them to come off as shadow cards a or be able stroke. to cancel them. So here. But that's only shadow card cancel. Yeah. No, yeah, that could have helped some. In one case, yeah. Here's a test of oil. So those are my first ones, and they were that far down in the deck. Yep. Wow, look at what was on the very bottom. So, Healing herbs. Another fail on easy mode. Two unexpected well, our first right fail on easy mode. mode but right, another fail, another fail. This time on easy mode. Yeah. So we will try again next time on easy mode. Maybe we go super easy mode and take out all the weather cards. Maybe super <laughs> Let's just take out all the fighting witches. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised stupid. there's still what there's still two of them in there, right? Yeah. I mean, they did take one out. I'm pretty sure there's still two. Take her out. She's yeah, remember because well, that was a, that reshuffle, was a reshuffle when I drew it the almost back to back, time. but well, not almost. It was back to back. <laughs> Do you have, what kind of, what do you have in your deck for card draw, Emily, to help you draw more cards? I have a decent number yeah. of cards that let me do that, but I wasn't getting them. Like, yeah. I you had have added this. The one biting one? Yeah. Um, like, my There's Elven Light is pretty much a free card. Well, not a free card. I have to spend a resource, but it's a, it's, that's an extra card every round, essentially. Yeah. Because I can discard it to, for Arwen's thing and then just play it right back. Right. Um, but it's not helping you draw more cards. Card. No, it don't. is because every oh. the it's it's effect when you draw play it from your discard is to draw a card. That's oh, what okay. it does. Gotcha. Um, I last time I added this guy the, that <coughs> guy. I never saw him this time though. That like every time I yeah here after one or more cards are discarded from your hard your hand draw a card mm. he's an ally he's also got two two one stats yeah, like who's four. the elfie guy that lets you draw cards uh Glare oh. line. he's in there Glare line, so yeah. i've got him but i never saw him this round either do you have three copies of him i'm not sure i think i do there's one two i'm going through right now because there's a few cards in here that like every scenario every time i get them I'm, i never end up playing them so i'm just yeah, gonna get rid, get rid of them, of them. <laughs> All right, well, we'll try to make a few tweaks here, I guess, and then give it another shot. And uh, just so you know, this isn't the hardest scenario in this box. So, <laughs> so says the drunkards making the... So says the community ratings thing. as well. Oh, boy. There's one, the, uh, I think it's the Karn Doom. It's like the second to the last one, I think. The community rating on it is 9.5, which is even harder than Escape from Dol Gold. <laughs> so, yeah, we got that to look forward to. Yay! But that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you hung out with us this long, and we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.